You're 11. Never mind me never to get a ring with you again. <laughs> Prince Harry rolling with the punches, this time at a boxing club in Nottingham back in 2013. At his side, the manager, an ex-gang member, Marcellus Baz. But now it seems the Prince is taking off the gloves and calling time. It's a decision that's left people in the city reeling. Nottingham School of Boxing was set up to try to stop young people like Raekwon from getting into trouble. It's nice to have someone a lot higher up to see the club coming to a success. I'm watching the young, young kids grow to be their potentials, to be fair. So, yes, yeah, it's a privilege um, having him. What has it meant to you? It's great, you know, so obviously I can get back in training and everything and hopefully you'll see me in the future as well. Prince Harry says he's stepping back from his royal duties. Marcellus Baz is hoping that won't be a knockout punch for his charity. I was shocked and I thought it was a very bold decision from Harry and Meghan. Um, I can understand why, but, um, you know, with the media kind of hounding them, I think they just want their son to be um, brought up very differently without the media spotlight, but whether that's going to work is very debatable because they'll still be high profile and there'll still be media attention around them. Thousands lined the streets of Nottingham for the royal couple's first official visit in 2017. Meghan Markle met some of those involved in the projects Prince Harry had made his own. You've got that confidence to be able to just... The community recording studio in St Anne's is one of his favourites. Prince Harry has been coming here since 2013, sometimes with cameras present, other times in a private capacity. His support has proved vital for the survival of projects like this. But, like the royal family, staff had no idea this was coming. Unsure of the implications, people here didn't want to speak. Prince Harry has also become a regular visitor at Nottingham Academy, which is in St Anne's. For those like Holosady Maguire, who lives in the area, his support has been vital. It's important because it made people from St Anne's feel like we matter. People who always, uh, an, an area that always receives bad press and has a bad reputation. The fact that he took the interest in our community and was as active as it was, as he was, it just made us feel like we mattered. Are you worried those visits will now stop? No, I don't. I'm hopeful it will continue. He may not have mentioned the media this time round, but in the past, Prince Harry has accused the tabloid press of running a ruthless campaign against his wife, a campaign some have put down to her race. But some of those representations have included, for example, you know, very racially loaded headlines, you know, referring to her as straight out of Compton, most famously in the Daily Mail. Uh, Rachel Johnson talking about her exotic DNA, which is this kind of colonial metaphor. This idea of Meghan being an outsider in some way, not compatible with the values of the, um, of, of the, the British royal family. Those have all had a very, very strong racialized element beyond subtext, actually very overt racism. For Raekwon, Prince Harry's support has been an incentive. For Marcellus Bass, the fact he married a woman of color was a sign of change. They're both hoping the couple's decision to stand back won't mean an end to their visits and their dreams.